Yamaha's brand new MT-03 is the smallest of Yamaha's popular MT naked bike lineup. This ripper shares much of the same engineering found in its small bore super sport sister, the YZF R3, including both the chassis and the engine. One major difference, the more upright riding position and lack of full on track ready fairing. Powering the MT-03 is the same fuel-injected 321cc parallel twin found in the R3. Trick internals include forged pistons with all-aluminum diacyl cylinders and carburized connecting rods. Suspension-wise, you'll also get a preload adjustable monocross shock out back, while up front there's a very nice 37mm KYB inverted fork. Speaking of up front, we really like the MT-03's angled LED eyebrows and round LED center bulb for the night rides, along with the trick LED turn signals. Make no mistake about it, this naked runner looks fast standing still, and I'm happy to report that it delivers on that promise. It's light, flickable, and loves to be revved. How do I know? Trust me, I know. But then again, you don't have to take my word for it. Just ask this week's guest road tester, Megan Grummet. So Megan, I know there's been a press launch for the MT-03, so some journalists have ridden the bike, but I think you may be one of the first people to ride this bike. It's a beautiful machine. What was your first impression? I thought it looked really sporty and uh, I threw my leg over it and I could touch the ground, so that's always a good start. Okay, so uh, sporty, it's naked, you fire it up and, uh, and off you go. What was it like to ride in terms of the, just the engine? Oh, it was so smooth has a really nice sound to it, uh, smooth acceleration. I really liked it. Yeah. Some bikes you get on and they vibrate a lot. This one really didn't. I thought that there was more than enough power for anything you really need it for. When I was riding it, I thought it would be just as good in the downtown streets of Toronto as in the country. So that's really nice. And in terms of power, it's got some really nice acceleration. So that was, that was awesome. Quiet though, right? Yes, I don't like loud motorcycles, so this was actually a really nice change. How did you find shifting it? It's a brand, it had zero kilometers on it when I started, it now has 200 before I handed it to you. And I never missed a shift. How was the transmission? No, I didn't miss a shift either. The position of all the, the levers was great. Really, again, smooth shifting, so that was great. Okay, so we know it goes. What about stopping? How are the brakes? It's got these little tiny, I believe that, yeah, little Brembo's with ABS stopping power. They were really responsive. So the, we had a couple of times where we came to a little bit more of an abrupt stop and being able to use both of those brakes smoothly made a huge difference, especially on some of the roads had a little bit of gravel on them, a little bit of sand yeah. and uh, really nice smooth stopping. How did you find this for handling and for the suspension? Because I mean, we were on some pretty rough roads early on this morning. So how did you find the suspension? I thought it was really good. Uh, we rode over a lot of potholes, um, a lot of uh, bumps, a little bit of gravel, and I didn't really feel anything. Also because it's, it's nice and small, you can maneuver around some of the bigger um, obstacles, which is really nice on a bike, depending on where you're driving. Yeah. I really like the instrument pod. Uh, it had just what I needed in terms of temperature, fuel, clock, but it also had gear shift indicator. Did you like that? I did. I've never been on a bike with that before, so that was really nice. I also really liked that it clearly showed you when your indicator is on, because a lot of times on a bike, you forget to turn your indicators off. In this one, it was very clear to see if you had forgotten that. Right. How did you find uh, just the fitment for your body on the bike, the saddle, the mirrors? How did all that work for you? The riding position, just the way that the bike is designed, the riding position is really comfortable, especially uh, for someone like me who's a little bit shorter. I liked, it's a bit more of an upright riding position, which is nice, especially if you're coming from a bit more of a dirt background like I am. Uh, everything from the mirrors to the sh shifters and the brakes, they were all really easy to reach. Yeah. So that was really nice. Also, what I really noticed about the mirrors is that they didn't vibrate at all. So you always had a really clear picture of what was behind you. So who are we gonna recommend this bike to? Who do you think this would appeal to? 
I think this bike has a lot of potential uh, for both new and experienced riders. And new riders, it doesn't have so much power that you're going to overwhelm yourself on, but it has enough power to keep an experienced rider entertained and having fun. It's also, because it's small, it's really good, I would imagine, in a city. Yeah. But we drove in the country and it was great. So overall, you think it'd be a great city bike, great weekender, country rides. Did you have fun? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It was a great time. Okay, well, thanks for helping us out today. You did a fantastic job. Thank you so much.